the only gm crop in india is bt cotton and it is actually a success story where you find that uh, india which was importing cotton is now be, has now become a cotton exporting country actually and uh, close to 7.8 or 8 million farmers are uh, using uh, bt cotton and uh, almost 95% of the land area in cotton is now bt cotton and there is enough documentation to prove to show that the farmers have benefited uh, monetarily and as i said the yield has increased and as i said earlier pesticide use has considerably decreased but uh, as again unfortunately bt cotton uh, has been uh, has become a symbol for activists to talk about its uh, harmful nature and so on and so forth um, but scientifically or experience based you can clearly show bt cotton has benefited the country arising out of that there are many other gm crops uh, have been i should say on the anvil uh, this includes horticulture horticulture crops and a main a major effort has also gone on bt rice but because of the regulatory issues most of them are lying in the glass houses um, because uh, many times you find uh, the regulatory approvals have not come there have been a controversy and i hope uh, sooner than later there will be permission given both by the geac and the state governments to conduct uh, field trials these field trials would not only be bt crops it can also be other kinds of uh, genes that have been introduced which include uh, resistance against uh, abiotic stress abiotic stress means stress against poor low rainfall uh, saline soil there are genes that can take care of uh, these kinds of uh, um, uh, abiotic stress whereas uh, bt is meant to protect against biotic stress there is also a effort to improve quality of nutrition of crops therefore there are genes that are introduced which will improve the nutritive quality of the crop uh, for example vitamin a deficiency in the country so there are efforts to cultivate golden rice which will provide a beta carotene and through that uh, vitamin a to the children all these are lying in the cupboard or in uh, you know because of the availability because of the uh, non availability of approvals uh, they are still uh, uh, being tried in the laboratory or in small fields sooner than later i hope uh, permission will be given so that is not only bacillus thuringiensis toxin bt based crops but a variety of other crops with other genes which will take care of other traits in agriculture